Hello guys, Danny Baby here with Danny Baby TV and welcome to another video. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you what I think are the best settings for fraps. And I am running fraps on Windows 8, look, I've got the Metro thing. Um, it's, it, um, it does work on Windows 8, so yeah. Okay, so this is version 3.5.9. And I'm gonna blurt out my email here, so that uh, so that I'll have your email there where there's that white square. So I'm gonna be showing you how um what my best settings are for fraps. So on the general page, I've just got fraps window always on top, just got that, and that's it. Um. I guess you can run fraps when Windows starts if you want to, and then it doesn't come up with the are oh, you sure you want to run this software and so on. So if you click on the FPS thing, you find this. Now I'm not sure what a benchmark is really, and I'm not sure. Wait, it looks like it's just text or something. So I'm not really sure about that, but I'll just show you my stuff. I've got F11 there, and don't have any of that ticks or any of that. Now, overlay hockey, um, you can enable that I guess if you want, and have it so that when you press a button it comes up with your overlay, and your top right corner, and so on. You can tick it if you do want to have your overlay on, but I have my overlay in the top right actually. And when I'm recording in full screen, it hides that, so I've just got it up there. Right, so movies, this is probably the most important part. Let me show you my folder. Okay, this is my folder for my wraps. And I have mine set up so that I have a folder for each of my series. So I've got all of those. This is yesterday's video, this is the raw files. And I have a folder for all of my videos. Now I keep my normal adventures of Minecraft here, just in the in the normal folder. But for the other ones I have I have an um I have a folder for the series. And this is a good way to keep all of your footage organised. And when you're gonna record, see I was gonna record a bit of Minecraft with Matty, I've got some footage in there to edit. Um if I was going to record some Minecraft with Matty, I would just go have fraps open and click change, scroll down, find movies, and click on the series. So Minecraft with Matty, then OK, and then it'll record it into oops, it'll record it into there. Now I have my capture hotkey as the number plus. So I just press that plus button. Um, I the, it says number plus because I have a numeric keypad on my on my keyboard. And I just press that button and it records. Um, setting for the video capture. Thirty FPS on full size. That means that it'll record all of your pixels and it won't mix miss some of them out. Um, you can customize it. But I don't really get the point of that. Um, loop buffer, just hit every thirty seconds. That that's just default. So that doesn't really matter. And here I split the movie every four gigabytes. Now, if you don't have an editing software to edit your movie together, uh, I would not recommend doing this because. You, I guess, are just going to be uploading your video straight to YouTube. Uh, but I edit mine, so I split, and it just kind of, I think it keeps the file sizes down in your computer. It doesn't have to work as much. It can do one file, and then it's like, oh, thank God I'm finished with that file. Um, so just tick that. Sound capture settings, record your Windows 7 sound, or what says Windows 7, now I'm on Windows 8 and it does work. 
Um, some work on Vista XP, I think. Actually, I think I may be outdated for XP, but click stereo. And flaps, I may, I should have mentioned this, but it is not compatible on Apple. So, also, if you want to record your microphone, record external input. Um, and, uh, you can have that if you want, but I don't really see the point. I'll tell you your microphone and the external input that will record your voice. So, um, I if I like when I've done the spoof episodes, when I just have music in the background, I untick this and then it didn't record my voice. Down here, I want to show my mouse cursor in the videos so that you can see where what I'm picking up in my inventory and so on when I'm playing Minecraft so I've got that unticked lock frame rate never lock the frame rate if your frames go below 30 um, it'll go, it'll go dodgy and force lossless RGB capture that may be slower just don't tick that and screenshots I just saved mine in screenshots. I have never actually used that. Um, I've just done shift page down. I might change that actually. So I'm gonna do numeric minus um, BMP. Save it as. I think that's smallest. And um, just don't take it over there unless you wanna keep capturing a picture every 10 seconds. So that is the first part of this tutorial. The second part will be out next week and in that tutorial I am going to show you using this software here, Serif Movie Plus X5, how to edit your um, your split 4 gigabytes together. So it's a two part tutorial on how to make Minecraft YouTube videos. I might actually make it more parts, I'm not sure, um, but I may end up doing a tutorial on how to create an intro like mine, how to create an outro, and so on. So, this is, I guess this is going to be a series then, um, of how to create Minecraft videos using fraps and so on. So, hope you've enjoyed this video of the first one. If you did, then a like is appreciated. If you really enjoyed it, then give us a favourite. And remember to subscribe for more gaming tutorials and vlogs. Thanks for watching. Bye.